beautiful hat. It's really dreadful about your hat. How can I ever repay the captivating Mademoiselle Loretta? That shouldn't be hard for the taking Lieutenant Rousseau with the money he got from my garter. It wasn't much. The rubies weren't as good as you thought. And you were much worse than I could have imagined. Really, I, I, I should call the police. Well, don't call them until I've bought you another hat. Another... another hat? Well, I, I admit I'm not so rich that I can afford to sell them in the gutter. Hats don't grow on trees, you know. I know, but some of the latest fashions look as if they did. Oh, my dear, you'd look simply irresistible in that bonnet trimmed with violets. Oh, do you really think I'd look well in violets? I, I rather fancy that big Florentine straw. Then it's yours. Isn't it beautiful? It looks made for you. I'll take this one. Monsieur will pay for it. Delighted. How much? A mere 80 francs. Oh, that's not too much for a beautiful hat, is it? You look positively ravishing in it. Thank you, monsieur. It's large enough to cover a multitude of sins. Charming sins. Oh, thank you. Madame still owes for the other hat. Oh, yes. Uh, the one you made me drop. Delighted. How much? Oh, that's only 35 francs. Thank you, monsieur. There is still the matter of your unpaid bill for the past three months, madame. Oh, 420 francs, monsieur. Delighted. Mm. Just a visiting card. Mm. Madame. Thank you, monsieur. I hope you'll come soon again with monsieur. May I see you to a cab? You may see me home in it. Uh, cab? I must say, you commit your crimes a la mode. Rather like old times, isn't it? Except I'm married. Oh, I'm so happy. Unhappily. What? Married. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Why sorry? All the more reason we should meet again. I see. Sometimes the chains of matrimony are so heavy they have to be carried by three. Uh, do you speak from experience? Oh, from observation. Observation. It has saved me from the experience. Please, listen seriously. For the past two years, I've not been able to put a certain Lieutenant Russo out of my mind. I believe I'm in love with him. In that case, madame, you're in love with a man who no longer exists. He's as dead as the past. I disagree, monsieur. The past is very much alive. As alive as I am. I... I hate really hate bringing up the delicate matter of the garter again, but I happen to know the Minister of Police has offered a reward for... Uh, for those paltry rubies. Oh, no. No, nothing so trifling. For the man who has committed a whole chain of similar crimes during the last two years. Are you planning to collect the reward? Oh, let's not talk about money. It's friendship I need, Lieutenant. Oh, I, I almost forgot. The Lieutenant is dead. Just to be sure we don't lose track of each other again, I'd better know your name. Your present one. I've had so many names, I'm afraid I don't remember the most recent one. Perhaps you'll refresh your memory by consulting the visiting card in your wallet. Dear lady, after our visit to the hat shop, my wallet is empty. Is that all we mean to each other? An empty wallet? Oh, oh, home already. Well, goodbye. A cold goodbye for an old flame. The last time we parted, you you weren't so easily satisfied. Uh, goodbye. Thank you, Monsieur. I hope there's nothing missing this time. <laughs> 